I'm Coyote Peterson, and right now, I am face to face with the deadliest rattlesnake in the world. Dancing with a Mojave rattlesnake. This is one dangerous dance, my friends. The heart of rattlesnake territory is truly Arizona, which is home to 13 different species, more than any other state. Tonight we're out in the Sonoran Desert and the temperature is absolutely perfect to find snakes. I got my snake hook ready. We're gonna head out there and see what we can find. The rattlesnake specifically has taken an unbelievable amount of negative press. Holy moly, okay, don't get any closer. Probably because of startled or provoked, they can inflict a very painful and potentially lethal venomous bite. Check this out. This environment is absolutely perfect for finding snakes. You can see how dry and arid all this is. Oh, I just saw, look at that. You got some kangaroo rats running around over here. Now that is a great sign that you're gonna find snakes. Where there are rats, there are definitely going to be snakes. Okay, I got him. I'm gonna be as gentle as possible. I do have him by the scruff of his neck, which is okay to handle him like that. Look at that cute little bushy tail. How adorable is that? And these big hind feet. And that's how they move so quickly through the desert. Look, he's holding on to his toe right now. He's so scared. This is proof that not everything out there in the desert is covered in scales and stingers. You better be careful out there, buddy. If I can catch you, you better believe that a rattlesnake can. All right, I'm gonna let him go. You ready? Hang around in the vicinity of kangaroo rats long enough, and you are almost certain to come across a rattlesnake. Got a snake right here. Snake, snake, snake. Western Diamondback, come up slow. I see his tail. That is a Western Diamondback. Okay, he's rattling. Oh, wait a minute. That is not a Western Diamondback. That is a Mojave rattlesnake. This situation just went from dangerous to extremely dangerous. Okay, um, he's kind of tucked back in here by this barrel cactus. Mark, go ahead and come around on this side. Keep your distance back. Got him. That the most venomous rattlesnake in the world right there. He's getting ready to go. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna try to work him up into this clearing here. Over here. Go ahead and come into this, this, this open area here. Oh, now he's rattling. Woo! Dancing with a Mojave rattlesnake. This is one dangerous dance, my friends. All right, now we've got him out in the open. Keep your distance, keep your distance. This is a very dangerous situation. We are now talking about the most venomous rattlesnake in the United States right here. Let me see if I can just get him to calm down. Holy cow, all right, my heart is racing. Mark, keep your distance right there. We've got the snake calm. You got an okay shot on him? Yeah, decent. These snakes can strike incredibly far. If I'm, if I'm gonna keep them still if I can. They will actually lunge two thirds of the length of their body. Now the way I was able to tell that this was a Mojave and not a Western Diamondback, they're so easy to confuse, is that the white banding on the tail, the white bands are thicker than the black bands. And you can kind of see, once the light is on him, he has a slight greenish tinge. Can you see that? Now, people often confuse this for Western Diamondback because you see the patterning on its back looks just like diamonds. They're a little more oval in shape. When I walked up on it, I thought, oh yes, sweet, a Western Diamondback, until I saw that tail and realized it's a Mojave. The most dangerous rattlesnake that's out here in the Sonoran Desert is just, it is nerve wracking. Hold on, he's starting to move. You can hear his rattle. I can hear his rattle. He's just got a couple of little buttons. Now, he is not, you'll notice that he is not striking. This is good. Now, snakes do not want to use their venom. Striking and biting is definitely a last resort. Hold on. Hold on. Want to do oh, jeez. Look out! Talk about what just happened. How okay, it so. Just like that, the snake decided, okay, I'm gonna move. And he's getting a little agitated. They're so incredibly strong. And as soon as he decides, okay, I'm out of here, it's really, really difficult to get him to curl back up like this. See that? He's puffing up his body. He's getting ready to strike. Now, a snake will only strike if it feels like that's its last resort for escaping. There you go. There you go. Calm down. Stay calm. There you go, buddy. All right. Oh, my heart is going about a million miles a second right now. That would made me nervous. He was like darting right at the camera. Were you recording that whole time? I tried to. I, I don't know. I might have turned it off. All right. Um, Mark, you can probably come around this way now real slowly. Go slow. Go slow. 
Go ahead, keep rolling. That's okay, go very slow. He can sense that you guys are coming around his backside. Stay calm. Wow. Now this is about as close as I wanna to get to this snake. Let's talk about its venom toxicity. Now the Mojave rattlesnake has two different venom types depending on what region the snake is living in. I cannot tell, just looking at the snake, whether or not it has type A or type B venom. The type A venom is a much stronger neurotoxin. Type B is more hemotoxic. Uh, either way, you get bitten by the snake, it's venom load off the charts. You get tagged by the snake, you wanna to get to the hospital immediately. Their venom has almost 10 times the toxicity of the Western Diamondback rattlesnake. Now you guys have seen me capture the Eastern Diamondback, the Western Diamondback, Sidewinders, and a lot of times I do head snakes and show you their fangs. This snake, I just feel, is far too dangerous to do that with. All rattlesnake species are potentially deadly, but because this is the most toxic rattlesnake in the world, I'm even more nervous. And the fact that I can't tell whether or not it has type A or type B venom, really makes me want to just keep my distance from the snake. I don't want to try to handle it, don't want to head it. It commands respect, and that is exactly what we're going to give it. What an intense encounter, getting face to face with the most venomous rattlesnake in the world. I'm Coyote Peterson. Be brave, stay wild. We'll see you on the next adventure. If you thought that was one wild adventure, Check out the time I stumbled upon a double-fanged western diamondback. And don't forget, subscribe to join me and the crew on this season of Breaking Trail. Priority number one, guys, is safety. I want to get that snake out of there. I want to be as careful as I can.